Hey everybody, happy Wax on Wednesdays. Today, some moody dark layers with some fun pan pastels and also the RNF pigment sticks here. And while I do my finger painting landscapes, I'm going to answer some common questions that I get about both the landscapes and just the layers in general. So to start off with here, I've got a 9 by 12 encaustic cradle board and I've got about four or five layers of white encaustic paint down as my base layer and I uh, I put a layer of encaustic gesso on my wood cradle board and then, you know, depending on the size of the board, but on this one I have about four or five layers of white encaustic paint fused flat and then I can start adding my pigments. And you can see that I'm mixing my oil pigment sticks directly on that little plastic palette and that's the great thing about these oil sticks is they are exactly like oil paint so you can mix them and um, create whatever colors that you uh, use for your landscapes or whatever it is that you're working on. The pigment sticks also have a self-healing skin so a lot of times I get asked how I store these pigment sticks and the sticks are really self-healing. They have a they form a skin on them when you're not using them so they pretty much put a lid on themselves if you will and all you have to do is take a paper towel if you've left them out over 24 hours and they develop that skin take a paper towel and wipe it off and they're ready to paint again so there's no really special way that you need to store the oil sticks to keep them fresh because they um, seal themselves up and you can open them up with a paper towel and you're ready to paint in my studio I have little um, to-go food containers they're like little Tupperwares and uh, they're just the right size for the oil sticks with a lid and I divide them into cool colors, warm colors, and neutrals, and that's how I, um, how I store mine in the studio. Another question I get asked a lot is about my pigments and my layers and there's really no right or wrong way to go about this. I usually approach my uh, landscapes with oil pigment sticks to begin with and switch over to pan pastels and in the end I usually finish up with some more oil sticks and this is not, um, there's no right or wrong way to do this if you prefer pan pastels or you prefer the pigment sticks. I've done landscapes with all pigment sticks, I've done landscapes with all pan pastels, uh, There's this is just my formula and my approach to uh, how I usually approach my landscapes and it's really not, um, it's the way I'm feeling as I'm painting, I can switch over back and forth at any time by simply adding a layer of wax in between and switch over to the other pigment. And what makes these layers so moody and dark this week is I'm not only working with the regular landscape pan pastel set that I normally have, but I'm also working with the set of extra dark, the cool set of extra dark colors in uh, the pan pastels. It's a set of 10 and it comes with all those rich dark blues and greens and uh, really enhances the moody dark layers of this piece. The other set I'm using is the landscape set in pan pastels and if you ever want to see the exact colors of any of the pigment sticks or any of the supplies that I'm using each week you can go to my blog post. I always have a full blog post about each Wax on Wednesdays video on SherryRefogel.com and you can go ahead and read all the extra um, little things that I had to say about this video and also all of the supplies that I use that week are on each week on the blog. And the link for that would be below this video. You can click on it and go directly to the blog post. Another really common question that I get asked is about the layers. 
uh, and um, the layers of a clear medium in between the pigment. And of course you don't want to build up just layers and layers of pigment on top of an encaustic surface. Uh, it won't harden and cure that way. So you want to add your clear layers in between. And the standard ratio is that you never want to exceed 30%, more than 30% pigment to wax. So you want to really make sure that you are um, adding enough wax in between your layers. And a good rule of thumb, if you don't have a feel for it yet, is to every time you add a thin layer of pigment to add a clear layer of encaustic medium. And that way you always know that you're not oversaturating your paint, painting with pigment. And every time you see me fusing this piece, every time I've added a layer of pigment or a layer of clear medium or a layer of, pig, of painted uh, paint, encaustic paint, I'm always fusing it to those previous layers. So each layer is bonded to the previous layer and that way uh, in the end you have a piece that's going to last and cure properly over time. And following this process of fusing every single layer to the previous one, you can build as many layers as you like. There's an in infinite number of layers that you can add to these pieces. And often I have 50 or 60 very thin, uh, very thin layers added of wax added to uh, my larger pieces. So you're certainly not limited on the number of layers of wax that you can add to your painting. And here is a fun, really fun tip if you've waited till the end of the video here, watch to the end of the video, is that you can take your pan pastels and mix them with your oil sticks to make even more colors. So uh, you don't have to use white, you can use any color of your pigment sticks, but I just put a little bit of pigment stick there on my palette and then just get a little bit of the pan pastel pigment with my gloved hand and mix my colors directly right there on the plastic palette. So that is a fun tip. Um, to achieve yet even um, a, even more colors in your palette when you're working um, with your landscapes is you, you can mix the oil sticks and the pan pastels together to achieve some really beautiful colors. And especially if you don't have that color of pan pastel or that color of oil stick that you're using um, with your pan pastel, you can create your own color and that way um, your layers will be more cohesive and match up better because you've created your own colors mixing them together. So a little fun tip if you waited till the end of the video, you um, caught my fun tip for the day. So I hope that you um, can join me in Encausticology 101 online course you can get. Um, I do landscapes and shellac burns and just a whole arsenal to build up your techniques for encaustic painting. Um, in Encausticology 101. There's also an entire series of Encausticology painting on SherryRefogel.com. Uh, there's over 16 online courses that you can choose from, and I hope that you really enjoyed this Wax on Wednesdays. We'll see you next week. Happy Wax on Wednesdays.